So this is the 53 foot drive and trailer. Uh, some people say box trailer. Uh, uh, this is where the glad hands go for the air right here and you'll see that uh, when he hooks it up and then this is for the power uh, and then another glad hand and then this is a compartment uh, you know storage for like registration and uh, permits and insurance uh, DOT inspection uh, those are the landing gears there they uh, uh, you raise them up by turning the handle uh, that's the kingpin the sun is in my way okay that's the kingpin right there see right there that's where the fifth wheel uh, is hooked up uh, and then I'll go inside and then maybe show you a little bit under the tandem there, there over over there uh, you know all the parts and then we'll go inside and look up look at the trail a little bit so when you have a, a trail sitting like this uh, either on the dock or somewhere in the yard you know the truck would back up natural okay this is a kolko je ovo prikoz isto kolko nju nema gondana so this is a fairly brand new trailer it's almost brand new it's one year old oops <laughs> and uh here we can see the uh air chambers for the brakes and airbags as well so that's your air ride you know if they ask you that's what it looks like and the air hoses uh, the trailers you know they don't have that many parts so it's mostly about uh, brakes and tires and then here uh, these are the pins uh, when drivers have to uh, adjust the tandems in the back you know, if the uh, load is too heavy uh, then uh, they would have to slide these tandems and then set them uh, accordingly so here you would pull this knob and see how they went in and now these tandems can be slid back and forth so the driver would apply the trailer brake and release the brake on the tractor and just push uh, forward or backwards and uh, the tandems would stay here in place but the whole trailer would move and then you push them in and now they're holding again huh pa možeš ja mislim i tamo kad ja pa možeš ja za dam sam 3 4 minute završim očić unutra unutra u prikolcu šta okay sač sač okay all right and now we have mud flaps and you have to have them uh, DOT likes you to have them uh, this is my old phone number I don't use that anymore and uh, here this bumper is uh, prevents uh, cars fr from uh, you know going under the trailer okay and then this is the way you open up this uh, here and you see like this moves and that moves up there and then this is what it looks like inside the trailer so you're gonna go in okay gonna go in okay okay so it's big space okay and now you don't even notice how big this is like when you look at the trucks on the road uh, they don't look that big but when you come here and when you turn around look at this look at this and then you can have all your pallets here you know this is 43 feet wide and then you can have two uh, uh, rows of pallets pallets are usually four by four squares four by four and then you put one here one here so 53 feet long you can go all the way to 52 if you have single pallets go all the way to 52 so that means um, you can have um, f uh, 26 pallets all together yeah 13 times uh, uh, 4 is 52 so 13 pallets here uh, 13 pallets here uh, that's 26 pallets and then if you have double pallets 
uh, you can go 52 pallets, but they have to be light, okay? So you can set them here two and two and two. And sometimes if you have a lot heavy loads, sometimes they would put like one pallet here and then two, one. So they call it single, double, single, double, two, two. Um, because some trucks are uh, uh, heavy on the front, okay? And those are your vents. You know, if the, if the broker asks if you have vents, uh, there is one here, and there is one in the back. Uh, small, some trailers don't have it. Some trailers only have uh, a, a vent in the back, but this one has vents uh, at the front and at the back. Sometimes they need it uh, for like sometimes for like, um, you know, if you're doing pr produce or uh, something that leaves an odor or that has to be ventilated. You see how these are flat? Uh, the, these are usually a little bit wider, so when they ask you if you uh, have a plated trailer, now this is not plated, you know, but you can still use this trailer because it's the same width and it's flat, you know, uh, the walls are flat. And then if someone tells you plated trailer, you have plastic walls, this is uh, okay too, you know, to use it instead of a plated trailer. So I just, I just tell them I do have a plated trailer. Uh, it has an aluminum roof. Uh, it has uh, wooden floors. Uh, most dry vents have wooden floors, and you know uh, they are easier to maintain. Um, and uh, you can, like, if you have something that has to be uh, nailed down to the floor, you know you can uh, use the wood. You just use some nails and, and uh, two by fours or pallets to uh, block and brace it. Okay, and then see, like, sometimes they want you to have e tracks, and then uh, some trailers have logistics posts. They are very similar. Uh, but sometimes you have these e tracks that go like all the way down, but sometimes you have them like every maybe like 16 uh, inches, I think, or so, and that's what it is right here. And these uh, doors are swing doors. They are very durable, very hard and thick, and they're they um, um, more sturdy and they're stronger. So if you, sometimes the broker will tell you uh, they don't uh, want a roll-up door, and that's a roll-up door goes like this, uh, but these are uh, uh, stronger. Um, but the only thing with these, like when you back up to the dock, you have to open, the driver has to open up before uh, they get to the dock. Uh, with ro uh, ro uh, roller doors, uh, the driver can, you know, back up to the dock without opening other doors, come from the inside, open up their door on the dock, and then just roll up the door from the inside, okay? Because they don't need to swing. So that's the difference between ro uh, roll up doors and uh, Swing doors. Now we have to go down. I don't like to jump because of my knees. Okay. And uh, here you secure this uh, door when you're backing up, you know, like this. And then it holds it in, in, in place like this when you're backing up. And you're going to close it down. And uh, just say, okay. Uh, make sure that the, the one on the bottom and one on the, on the top is closed. And then here, a uh, driver can uh, put a, a lock, a padlock, and a seal. It goes here on the right hand side. Uh, no need to do it here because you can't open up this one unless you open this one. So, this is where the seal goes and the padlock. Okay, so this is it. That's what a trailer looks like.